All right, hello, wine drinking people. We're back. It's still Saturday, June 11th, and a lot of drinking here in the store to get through. We had uh, Petit Tout, Petit Tout Vin stop in here uh, late, earlier in the week with uh, some pretty good stuff. I mean, well, great stuff. Clo Mar Martinet's fabulous, one of the top Priorats, one of the original guys. And, uh, well, to start out the tasting, a pretty good Pinot Noir from Samsara. Uh, this is from the Santa Rita Hills in area of Southern California, producing really nice uh, Burgundian-style Pinot Noirs. It's very cold down there. You know, the mountain ranges run east to west as opposed to north to south. So even though it's further south uh, than, you know, some viticultural areas to the north, it's actually colder. So Pinot Noir loves cold climate. This one had a lovely floral bouquet of black raspberry fruit with uh, really pretty with a nice touch of oriental spice in there. Also, uh, you know, nice pretty Pinot Noir uh, on the palette there with a lovely silky velvety texture. One of the things I love about Pinot, but some nice zestiness to the finish. So I mentioned this cool climate area provides some nice acidity with the fruit there. Nice balance, a nice array of spice, spice and Floral nuance on the finish. This is from um, Mr. Melville, I, I heard. Well, that's what he, our rep from Petit Tout Vin said, so we don't know for sure. But uh, a really nice little bottle of Pinot Noir from the 2009 vintage. Excellent juice. All right, the Fox Glove Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso Robles. You know, Paso Robles produces some very good Cabernet outside of Napa and Sonoma and Mendocino. Probably the next greatest area for Cabernet Sauvignon in California. Uh, this wine had some lovely red cherry and plum-like fruit, notes of fresh herbs and fresh earth as well. Smooth and fruit-forward style of Cabernet. Very drinkable with a nice hint of herbal nuance through the finish. And a nice savory quality too, you know. We don't like these tutti-frutti California wines. We like to have a little savoriness on the end. And uh, this wine really nicely balanced for $15. Really good little Cabernet. All right, and then Bona Cristini OPC. We don't know what that stands for, but uh, this is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, Merlot, and Malbec. And some nice toasty oak spice on the nose here. Some fresh plowed earth, some cocoa notes to the black cherry and currant berry fruit. And a really smooth and plush on the palate. Really nice forward style of Cabernet Sauvignon with notes of milk chocolate, smooth tannins. And uh, some nice acidity there coming at the end. Very good, but 48 bucks. Ooh, almost like the $15 Cabernet just as much. Okay, the Clos Martinet from the Priorat. As I mentioned before, uh, you know, one of the top wines coming from this area. This wine just had incredible bouquet on the nose. Fresh flowers, herbs, slate-like granite minerality, espresso, dark soy, dark cherry and plum fruit. Very seductive, really classic priorat and amazing complexity there. Big and chewy on the tongue with layers of sweet berry fruit, firm tannins, a nice hand of acidity also keeping things fresh and echoing that nuance and spice through the finish really long. Uh, this wine needs a little time though, 2006, still very young and outstanding pre-rot, most excellent juice. All right, well next up we have some wines from Campania with uh, Patrick from Dine Magazine.